So after 16 months of waiting for my car, it's finally arrived. Well, more specifically, this is my new van, my Toyota Sienna 2024 XSE. And this here is the blueprint version. And today I'm gonna give you my first impressions on it. And the reason I'm saying first impression is because I have less than a thousand miles on this car yet, so I can't give you my full review yet. So do make sure to subscribe if you wanna see the full review video. So yes, I am now officially a dad who owns a van. And I'm actually enjoying it so far. I'm not quite sure why a lot of people still don't like it um, or a lot of the people have some bad stigma against it. I think it's actually a great own, especially for family. And even from the new exterior, it doesn't really look too bad compared to some of the vans back when we were younger kids. All right, now let's move on to inside of the car to see what I like about it. Well, first off, they are like literally a million cup holders. There's two here, and then there's two right here in the center console with another one here. And there are a bunch of car holders in the back seat, which I'll show you a little bit later. You might be wondering why anyone needs so many cup holders. Well, there is a pretty good reason. If you think about it, usually a family always carries their water bottle with them. So that takes up the cup holder slot already. And then if you decide to purchase drinks or something like that, you need more cup holders. So this is really big at welcome compared to my previous car where there was only maybe like, I think what, four cup holders total in the whole car. So besides for all these cup holders over here, my next favorite section is actually this little cubby right here. It just allows me to store everything and keeps the car a lot cleaner looking. Like today, which I'll be taking my kids later to uh, martial arts practice, I have some of their shoes here, some spare clothes, and then as well as my bag of stuff that I usually carry around with me. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about that I kind of like a lot right now, well, not initially until I purchased a separate add-on from Amazon, is inside this armrest area right here. Um, it's a nice deep area and once again, more charging ports. However, there is something that you can purchase um, from Amazon. This is a third party not made by Toyota. It doesn't come with the car. You purchase it separately. Several companies make it. And I purchased one and it fits perfectly in here. Let's see if I can actually get it with one hand. It's, it's pretty tight fit. Um, it's a perfect fit as you can see. It makes everything so much more organized and gives you an extra layer of things where you can just put stuff. Like here I have my charging cables, my sunglasses, and a bunch of loyalty cards. I actually probably don't use much anymore since now much most of it is on your phones. All right, so the version that we picked is actually the one with the captain seats here. And we wanted this because it's easier just for if we were having anyone like my wife wanted to kind of ride in the back with them for some of the longer trips and talk to them and maybe hang up some snacks or something. Um, she can just easily walk into the back area without having to deal with the center console, which is usually what it would be on some of the lower end versions. These attachments on both sides are not included with the van, of course. I purchased them on Amazon. There's a bunch of different versions. You can probably fit one that, find one that fits your family better than this one. I like this one particularly just because it's easy for you to see what's inside each of the pockets. Um, that's just a trash bag. And in case you're wondering, we have just finished toilet learning with my daughter and she's doing it about for about a week now and she's gotten pretty good for the most part. Not too many misses. All right, sorry about the lighting as I am sitting currently in the third row of the car right now, but I wanted to show you how much leg room I still have. I'm 5'9", so not very tall, but also not short, and I still have a decent amount of room. And right now, both of these seats here are pushed pretty far back because I just wanted to give my children plenty of room to get in and out of the car. As with any cars with kids, there's gonna be a lot of trash. So right now we have this bag set up hanging here um, for trash. However, I am looking into other ways we can have better trash can system in here. Trying to find a perfect one that doesn't stink too much. Um, we can't hang anything up on the front behind the seats there because we're using it. However, there is an option to hang the trash from back here when my wife is sitting back here. She can just throw a trash in there and we can just empty it so it doesn't just get in the way right here. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the trunk. Um, overall, not too much complaints. It has just enough room right now for me to carry most of my groceries and even a couple Costco trips. Um, it's deep enough where you can stack a lot of things without being an issue. However, if you do need more room, you all can always push this back. As you can see, you can stow away these seats here and have a larger trunk space. 
So one of the main reasons why I waited so long for this particular car was because of the hybrid engine that the Toyota Sienna has. Right now it's advertised with the miles per gallon about 35 or 36 miles per gallon, which is amazing compared to any of the other vans out there. I know the Chrysler Pacifica does have a plug-in version. However, I think the electric on that is maybe only about 20 miles, which I think it's a little too, well, too little. I do wish that there is a completely plug-in version of a van right now. However, there's nothing in the market kit that has a at least not in the US that has a full charging van or electric van um, but until then I think this car will last me at least a good next 10 years or so because I'm not the type of person who switches cars very often and I think you get the most bang for your buck if you keep your car for a long time so one thing I want to know now is what are your thoughts about vans or maybe even the Toyota Sienna specifically? I know that there are a couple of viewers of mine that already own vans. Um, what are your thoughts on it in the long terms? Do you like it or are you planning to switch out of it or is your next car going to be a van as well? Let me know down below in the comments. And until next time, keep parenting the awesome way.